everyone and welcome back to the shop. So I'm continuing to work on the barn and a quick history of the barn is the house on the property was built in the mid 60s. When the house was built, this barn was in the front yard. When they built the house, they moved the barn to the backyard where it is today. When we moved in about 25 years ago, the barn had a dirt floor. I put a few yards of the three quarter inch bluestone gravel and we were using the barn as a place for storage and I did a little welding out here. My wood shop was in the basement. As the family got bigger and I was doing less welding and more woodworking, we decided to move the wood shop out to the barn. So a quick solution for the floor was to frame it out with treated two by sixes and use six millimeter plastic for a vapor barrier and then three quarter inch tongue and groove sturdy floor subflooring. So that's been the floor of the barn ever since and it's worked out great. And since I uncovered it, it's nice to see that the two by sixes are in really good shape. So what I'm doing now is I want to replace this window with a door and because I don't want to step over the, the dust collection hose or pipe to go through the door, I'm going to put the dust collection under the floor. When I painted the shop last week, I didn't paint this section because I knew I'd have to do some repair to this wall and I believe I'm going to have to replace a portion of the sole plate uh, with maybe some pressure treated lumber. So I'm just going to take this whole section out right here because I can see the tape line, I can just cut it and that should give me a nice cut. Once I removed the sheetrock and pulled back the insulation and could see what was going on inside the wall, I decided to take the sheetrock off all the way up to the ceiling, remove the insulation, and build a temporary wall to support the weight of the barn so I could replace some of the rotten wood that was in the wall. I've got a masonry bit in the drill and I'm switching the drill to the hammer setting. I'm going to drill through the sole plate into the foundation. This is a Tapcon screw meant for masonry.
After replacing the sill plate and framing in the, or replacing the rotten wood and finishing up the framing, the next step was to remove the temporary wall and install the pre-hung door. Okay, well, a bit of a sidestep with this one. I never did do anything with the dust collection, so that's still on the list, and I'll get to that soon enough. I'm just kind of buttoning up little projects as they come along, and getting this wall done was a big, a big thing to get out of the way. If you're wondering about the door, the reason for the door is it separates what will be the finishing room from the wood shop. And uh, basically, I'm just going to keep posting videos like this one until the barn is completely finished and I can start building furniture again. So I hope you like these videos. And if you want to see what I'm working on tomorrow, follow me on Instagram. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Before you start your next project, click on the link in the description for my professional woodworking plans and build a piece of furniture that will last a lifetime.